All right, so this mission is going to be a little bittersweet in a sense because this is officially the last mission we're doing for Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, canonically, this mission comes a couple years after the main story, if I'm not mistaken, and a couple years after the DLC as well. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. It's a co-op mission. We're going to be doing it alone like always. And, um, yeah, let's see what we get. Of course, I've done it to, before to get the rewards, but I never really paid attention to it. I always skipped the... Uh, the intros like uh like i mentioned before but uh all right let's see let's see what we got here we got the infernal machine protect napoleon from an assassination attempt and find the royalists behind it turn those carts around bonaparte will be passing this way you don't say. <coughs> Our Lord and Savior himself. <coughs> yes, yes, mustn't be late for the damned opera. The war doesn't even start until the fifth act. Napoleon Bonaparte, soon to be Emperor of France. But tonight, it's the opera. Napoleon's claim to fame was using cannons on the streets of Paris. Fire! Long live the king! Outnumbered six to one, he crushed royalist forces marching on the national convention. Take your positions. The surviving royalists are going to attempt an attack on Napoleon. The centerpiece is a giant improvised explosive device lovingly known as the Machine Infernal. Protect Napoleon from the royalist threat. All right, let's get it. All right, so uh, assassins need you to keep Napoleon alive and the royalists out of power. You can start by taking out the snipers along Napoleon's route, which is kind of ironic if you ask me. You know. Wait, did I actually take him out? Okay, I did. I wanted to do this like very stealthily, but it's gonna be kind of hard. Not gonna lie. Since I think I gotta keep up with the carriage that uh, Napoleon is in. Hold on, I think I should be able to get him right there. We're going. Nice headshot. All right, so there's a guy like directly below me that's uh, looking this direction. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna jump in there. Oop. Excuse me, bud. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a stun grenade. Come on, Harder, right, shoot him. There we go. I there's a couple there in the other building. Yeah, we're basically halfway there with the uh, with the guards. You know, I'm not doing it as stealthily as I would have wanted to, but at the same time, it's like I'm doing it pretty decently. You know, I'm not bringing like a huge crowd towards me. So there's that. So that's uh, the saving grace in a sense. A sniper's going to fire at the carriage. Okay, that was very freaking close. Okay, so I don't think there's a timer, but uh, I think that if they get to like way too close to, or Napoleon gets like way too close to uh, 
these sharpshooters. I think that's where the mission ends. So I'm just gonna ignore these dudes. I'm just gonna go for the next one. Okay, thankfully the next two dudes are actually like right next to each other. So it's making my job easier. Oh no, I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, they're not gonna follow me up here. They're not that acrobatic. Come on now. That was beautiful. Whoa. Someone shot at the bomb from across the street. Head over there and look for more information. Get that console out of here, quickly! Oh, we didn't even see the explosion. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. I was just looking for a place where I could climb. I was like, I'm definitely not climbing those pillars. Oh, that's a lot of things. Oh, I remember this uh, this building exactly. I've actually done a a um, what do you call those? A treasure? No, an artifact hunt? No, what are they called? It's basically where you look for like artifacts in this game, and uh, this mission. There was a there was a mission in this building, and it was like torturous. You need to find out here. This room looks like the royalist base of operations. Look for information on who's behind this attack. Oh my! Oh, I see you. Who do you play golf to? Nothing here. You've got a location. We need to know who we're looking for. <gasps> One of them was like, oh. This dude is just like chilling in the corner reading his books while the guards are like just getting murked. I don't think there's going to be an open window around here. I should have probably jumped off the uh, open window that was in that room I entered earlier. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Or I could probably take the stairs. That guy in the courtyard is the one who set off the machine in for now. Bet if you checked his pockets, you'd find out who paid him. Come on, come on. Disguise yourself, Arno. No, he's not here. Is he gonna see me? I don't think he is. I think I'm good. Up and bloody disappeared, he did. Oh, there's like a group of guards just like covering his ass. Yeah, this is actually gonna be kind of hard. Not gonna lie. That was a nice shot. Thank you. If it's oh, you know what? Yeah, they're everywhere over here. So uh. Is Napoleon dead then? What the hell? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna take out. I was gonna take out the big dudes because uh, it was gonna be more important. And thankfully, there's not a lot of guards on this side, so don't be alarmed. De quoi peut-il s'agir? 
The information we found came from a local address. Head there and see what you can find. Okay. I can't even go right there. You know what? That's it. That's it. Alright, so there is a couple of sharpshooters up here. Gotta be careful with those. All right, I think it's success. All right, oh shit. Okay, just for shits and giggles. Oh, he's right there, dude. I can't do an arrow assassination from the uh, ladder. I was like, can't I climb down or something, bro? Oh, I was trying not to get, like, touched by any of these guards. Nice work. Time to get out of here. I gotta say that this is, like, terrible design. You know, what if one day, like, you wake up from, like, you know, drinking heavily or something? Which I don't recommend. I don't condone that at all. But, uh, you know, you're out, out your shit in a sense. You're going downstairs to go to the bathroom or something. You just like bust your shit over here. <laughs> okay, yeah, the other ladders over here as well. Yeah, the ladders in this game are pretty wonky, but then again, most of the ladders in uh, all the other Assassin's Creed games are as wonky. I think we can let the gendarmes take it from here. All right. Yep. And I think that's uh, officially the last mission we're doing for Assassin's Creed Unity. Like I mentioned before, it's a bit bittersweet. It's the last mission that we have to do it for this game. And uh, yeah, it's a, it was an insane ride. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk a little about the game right now. It was an insane ride. You know, we've been. Uh, at this game for over a year now and it's not because it's taken me that long it's because i actually had a hiatus of a couple months from this game in general and um yeah this game uh this game is really good i think i found a new appreciation for this game um the story had definitely had its problems and i had a problem um particularly with the story just focusing too much with it with arno and elise i felt like you know, a French Revolution, such a like rich topic and a rich uh, point in time in history that, you know, I kind of wish that the main story involved more the royals like King, uh, King Louis the 16th more um, that it involved more Napoleon. Even, you know, I think we only had like one mission with Napoleon. Uh, I kind of wish that it involved these uh, figures a bit more. And within the story, you know, we did get some like historical figures like Mirabeau and uh, and such in the in the game but uh, i felt like they could have done a bit more um also i felt like there was way too many side missions for its own good because uh you know call them what you want most of them were the exact same thing um you know social club missions were basically pair story missions but shorter um co-op missions were basically like the uh, treasure hunt or artifact hunt uh, whatever they're called it's these things uh where are they 
heists. There we go. They're called heists. They were basically the same thing, but shorter. Um, there's initiate missions that I'm not going to do because I feel like they don't really matter at all. You know, they're as simple as that, you know, do a, uh, an objective and stuff like that. Um, you know, I felt like they were focusing way too much with quantity when it came to side missions in this game over quality. Uh, the only side missions that I truly liked and I would have wished that in the future uh, franchise they had kept were the murder mysteries because those were extremely fun and I really enjoyed those. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's I guess my little overview of Assassin's Creed Unity. I felt like the story definitely needed a bit more. I enjoyed it though. I did find a new appreciation for it though. Uh, I do recommend this game a lot. Um, if you have the chance to play it, I definitely recommend it because uh, it is fun. But uh, it's like such a grind, you know, I think out of all the Assassin's Creed games to date, this is the game where I've grinded out, out the most to unlock things. You know, this game in particular has this thing where um, you got to purchase all of the um, all of the skins and its parts. And they're just extremely expensive. And I spent hours grinding for like money in this game to be able to buy all the skins. And I finally did it, which I'm proud because that this is the first time I actually do that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Um, I'm probably going to release an update video on what's to come for uh, for uh, for this channel and uh, what other game I'm going to be starting in. As you guys know, it's also going to involve Assassin's Creed once again. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll definitely see you guys next time. Peace.